Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and I want to talk about Dune 2, and how Dune 2 proves, in my humble opinion, what is happening on Dungeons and Dragons, and for modern narrative, okay? And, that, and I'm not going to bury the lead here. Dune 2 proves that narrative reveals truth beyond agenda. In my humble opinion, narrative reveals truth beyond agenda, in my humble opinion. And understanding Dune 2 can help us understand Dungeons and Dragons, and understanding Dungeons and Dragons is the ultimate secular key to understanding ourselves. All right, let's get into this. All right, so first of all, I'm sorry, sorry, I'll tell, say this now. I haven't, I haven't broken anything. 100% spoilers for all of Dune 1, 20, all of Dune 2021 Part 1, all of Dune 2024 Part 2. Spoilers for Dune 2 2024 Part 2. And this is, and I'm literally a week ahead of before anybody could see this film except critics, right? And so I was incredibly blessed to get to see a fan's first screening on IMAX, uh, and I was extremely excited about it, and I can't wait to talk to you, uh, talk with you about it. Uh, so let's let's dig right in and talk all about this, right? Because this, this is pretty exciting. All right, so let, let's, let's dig in here. Okay. So how does Dune 2 reveal truth? How does Dune 2 prove that narrative reveals truth beyond agenda. All right, let's go there. Uh, actually, so first of all, I did a spoiler warning, okay? Next, I'm going to do a, um, a values warning, all right? This is going to talk about humanity at the deepest, this, this video is gonna talk about humanity at the deepest level, the deepest level. And, um, and if you are not incredibly grounded in what you believe, if you don't have a guiding principle that will anchor you, I would really warn you to think about not watching this video, okay? Uh, if you feel like, yeah, if you're not anchored in your personal values and, um, and have a, a fundamental understanding of good and evil, don't watch this video. All right, okay, so I got my spoiler warning out of the way. I got my values warning out of the way. Let's go. All right, okay. So uh, we're gonna talk about abortion. Uh, sorry, there's, uh, there's just no way around it. Right? Just Because honestly, I actually think uh, Denis Villeneuve, Timothy Chalamet, and Zendaya have made the greatest, most powerful statement, pro-life statement in the history of abortion since 1973. All right, let's get into it. Okay. The movie starts, okay? And Paul Maudib Atreides is um, is on Arrakis and he is near his Bene Gesserit mother and, um, and he is and we open the film with um, a shot of Maudib, of Paul Atreides, Maudib's sister in the womb of Paul Atreides' Bene Gesserit mother, the rev who, will, who will become the Reverend Mother. And when we see Paul Atreides' sister in his mother's womb, she is an embryo. She does not look human. It just looks like Ironically, it looks like a worm with an eye and a vein. It doesn't even remotely look human, okay? It is an embryo, all right? But here's the kicker. Paul talks to the embryo. Paul talks to his sister. Paul talks to the child. All right, let's get there. Let's get there. Let's get there. Thanks for your patience. Here we go. We just had this, con we have this conversation every year. When does life begin? Life begins at conception, right? It doesn't matter that I tell you that because I'm an I'm an evangelical Christian. 
Of course I tell you that. Here's where it matters. Narrative reveals truth beyond agenda. Denis Villeneuve died in the wool, Hollywood director. Timothy Chalamet, died, Chalamet died in the wool, Hollywood leading man. Zendaya died in the wool, Hollywood leading lady. Okay, every single one of them has massive agenda to tow the Democrat line, to tow the liberal line, to tow the pro-choice line. None of them should tell you the truth. None of them should tell you the truth that an embryo is a child, that an embryo is a human being, that an embryo, of course, has the full ability to communicate with other humans because it is human fully from the moment of conception. There is nothing there but human life. It doesn't matter if I tell you an embryo is a human life because I have an agenda to believe that embryo is human life. But can you ignore when Hollywood tells you that an embryo is a child, an embryo is human, an embryo can think, an embryo can communicate. That's what's being told in Dune 2. And that, and Dune 2 opens with the most powerful pro-life statement possible. And it will go out to millions. And this movie will be watched, it will definitely be watched by millions, okay? But it is brilliant, and there is a good chance it will not be commercially successful. So the only people who are going to see uh, Dune 2 are highly educated, highly um, intelligent humans. And what's really interesting is, increasingly, the Democrats have been, you know, college-educated, highly brilliant, highly intelligent Americans are generally liberal. So this Hollywood movie is about to present the most powerful pro-life message you could possibly present. Okay? And they have every agenda not to do that. But the narrative led them there. The narrative led them there. The narrative led them there. And their value to narrative, to telling a story, to cheat, not one cheat, to cheat, to telling the full story in the most powerful way possible, force them to, the narrative, force them to reveal truth beyond their agenda, okay? Now, what does this have to do with Dungeons and Dragons? You go, if you go to see Dune 2, pay attention, because you're gonna hear a truth about humanity. And that truth is that life begins at conception. It doesn't matter if an evangelical Christian says that to you, but does it matter if Denis Villeneuve and Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya scream it in your face? Yes, it matters. It matters when the truth is said by people who have every agenda to hide it, right? That's when truth resonates. That's when truth resonates. Okay, one of the most smartest men I ever knew, he's like, You'll know the truth when the enemy says it against every single reason they should. Okay? There you go. There you go. All right? Where does this land with Dungeons & Dragons? Here's the issue. We go to Dune to, to hear this incredibly powerful story, to hear truth. Okay? And it, by the way, five out of five star movie. Everybody should see it. It's amazing. It far surpasses the book, it's excellent, okay? All right. The narrative reveals truth beyond the gem. Dungeons and Dragons. What does it mean? What is it for? The Dungeon Master comes to the table. The Dungeon Master has the kernel of a story. The Dungeon Master has notes. The Dungeon Master is ready to to start a story and let it branch in 15 different directions, right? At the behest of the Dragon Masters, those are the Dungeons and Dragons players. I use the correct term, in my humble opinion, Dragon Masters, not players, Dragon Masters. The Dungeon Master starts the story and he's ready, she's ready to let the story merge 
to let the story merge, to let the story diverge when the Dragon Masters take it in different directions. But the Dragon Masters take it in different take the story in different directions when? When? After they have put ink to paper on the player character. They put the true name of the player character. Okay? They follow through and see the truths that are displayed by strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, charisma, wisdom, which is a map of the human of the human configuration. And then Gary asked the question. The question is not to the player character. It is to the player. It is to the Dragon Master. Are you good? Are you evil? Are you bound to chaos or are you bound to law? Or are you dead center? The question is not for the player character. It never was. The question, the alignment, the morality is straight to the answer. The answer is in your heart and you will not walk away from that experience. The experience of Gary Gygax's legacy. You are asked to your core. Are you good or are you evil? Truth revealed beyond your own agenda. Do you understand? Every single word I have just said is my humble opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. What's important is when I hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.